Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Um, today I want to showcase the new Sky presets which Adobe have introduced to this latest version of Photoshop Elements. And these are powered by um, artificial intelligence and machine learning from Adobe Research. And um, you can often replace a boring sky like in this particular landscape image just with one click. So I'll show you where to find this new feature. It comes under the Guided tab. So I'm going to send this into Guided and we need to go to Special Edits and choose Perfect Landscape. And um, the Perfect Landscape dialog opens up and you can see we have all these 36 in total, um, presets ranging from blue skies through sunsets and into night skies. So I think I'm going to choose a new sky for this one to replace the, the boring sky. Um, I'm going to try this blue too. So just one click will start the AI work and it will start to generate the, um, the new image um, by automatically replacing the, the sky. You can see the progress bar moving along and um, it's almost there. It just takes a, um, a few seconds to, um, to appear on screen. So just bear with me for this uh, few seconds whilst it's um, doing its magic. And there you can see straight away we have something much more interesting than the um, the plain blue sky that we that we saw before um, we can click the remove haze button if we want to add a little bit more contrast to the overall image um, you could do that before replacing the sky or afterwards it seems to work um, both ways and um, you can see the spinning wheel is working away to remove the haze from the photo and we should get a more contrasty image and I think that's what we what we find here. You can see the foreground is much more contrasty and the um, the sky is much more interesting. We can, if we wish to move down the um, dialogue, go to the um, move tool and that enables us to move the sky around. You may want to kind of, um, you can only, uh, if you go too far, you'll, you'll get to the edge of the, um, the insert. So um, just move it into place um, where you find it most most interesting and I think something like that will do for this particular image. I also always like to push the shift edge slider all the way to the left. You can see we just brought back a few of the mountains but it also brings in a little bit of haloing so just gently nudge it to the right and until you get to the op optimum position of um, removing the halo but keeping most of the mountains and I think something like that will do for this particular image. Um, so I don't need to use the refine edge because the halo has totally disappeared and there's no spots in the sky or, um, or, or um, spots in the image to be removed. Um, so I think that's um, fine as it is. I can click next and take this into expert mode and you can see that all the layers have been created automatically together with the masks and um, brightness settings automatically for the sky. And then a new composite layer of all those layers below it has been created. If you wanted to you could um, do some extra work in the expert mode like um, going into um, layer, create new layer. Make sure you have the top layer selected before you do this. Um, new adjustment layer and I'm going to choose brightness and contrast. Click OK and we, got, we get the um, brightness and contrast uh, dialog. Now this will be affecting the overall image so, I mean, let's just play with the brightness slider. I mean, we can take it down if we want to. It makes it a little bit duller. I think that's too bright. So something about there. And we can also play with the contrast. If we want to add a bit more contrast to the image, just to, just to give it a little bit more boost. Something like that. This will be to your own liking, but um, I'm just showing you, you can do this extra work in the um, in the layers panel if you're familiar with using layers. So I think that's um, fine for this image. It's a big improvement on the 
original. So I can now just save this image and close it down. In this example, um, I have a nighttime image of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And um, it has a fairly boring plain sky. So I'm going to use one of the night sky presets on this image to see if we can make it more interesting. So the night sky uh, presets are down at the bottom. And I'm going to choose this one, night seven, which has a little bit of a, a flash or a comet in the sky. And let's see what um, the artificial intelligence does just with one click. This progress bar is generating the output. And there we have it now. So what I want to do is use the move tool to make it appear that this beam of light that is coming out of the top of the the tower, something like that. And as you can see, the the background sky is too small, so I need to stretch it by by dragging the the corner handles and then repositioning just like that. And I think that looks fairly reasonable. It does quite a good job. So I'm going to click the green check mark. Now, I always try moving this edge slider to the left because it brings back the all the original um, parts of the image. But as you can see, we've got some uh, ghosting around the, the tower. We've brought this little post back into the sky, which is sticking up. That's not that's not important. But I suggest you zoom in. I'm holding down the control and the plus key on the numeric keypad to zoom in. And I'm going to just gently move the shift edge to the right. And we should start to see the halo disappear. And, and it's disappeared there. So um, use control zero to fit it back onto the screen. And I think that looks um, much better. We've still kept a little bit of this post, which doesn't really um, do much for the image. So I'm actually going to get rid of that with the spot healing tool. Just gently brush over it and that blends it in. may need a couple of clicks and that blends it in much better. So now I'm going to go um, into expert mode and you can see that Adobe has created automatically all the layers and produced a composite layer on top. So what we could do is we could do some further editing in the expert mode if you so wish. And I'm going to keep this top composite layer selected and place an adjustment layer on top of it. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, and click OK. And just drag this where we can see it. Um, and then I'm going to go to the red channel because there's there, there's lots of red lights around this foreground. And if I boost the saturation of just the reds, it will really give it an extra dimension. And it actually warms up some of the um, bottom of the tower also. And I think that looks better. So I can now save this as a new image. So that's using the night sky presets in Photoshop Elements 2023. Hope you like this and hope it gives you some inspiration to um, zizz up your own photos. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and um, that will help me to continue pushing out these free videos. Until next time, bye bye.